Hello, so in this AWS tutorial, we are going to be using Lambda and SES. So SES is a Amazon email sending service. It's a most straightforward way, uh, in my opinion, to send yourself uh, email notifications. Okay, first thing we gotta do is go to our IAM. All right, once you're in IAM, head over to roles. Go ahead and create a role, an AWS service. Select uh, Lambda and go ahead, hit next. And let's find that role. So SES, here we go. Amazon SES full access. Go ahead and select that one. Hit next, uh, give it a name, call it SES. I'm gonna call mine SES email -y. All right, create that role. Now that we got that role created, uh, type SES and uh, find this Amazon Simple Email Service. So that's what SES stands for. And let's head over to Verified Identities. And we're going to hit uh, Create Identity. All right, uh, we got two options, Domain Email Address. So in the scope of this tutorial, we are just working on email addresses. And in here, go ahead and enter in that whatever email address you want to be sending this stuff to. All right, so I made this email for this, test AWS, blah, blah, blah. So click Create Identity. Oh, bit of a typo. All right, there we go. All right, now click Create Identity. Um, after you enter that email, you should be getting a verification email. So let me go head over to Gmail. So let me go head over to my email service. And you see, I just got this email um, asking for verification. So click on that and click on the verification link. And now it'll say, congratulations, you have verified an email address. So you have to do this to use the Lambda code that I'm about to show you. Make sure you verify the email. All right, now let's head over to Lambda. We are gonna go ahead and create a function, runtime uh, Python. And uh, this is the important part, change default execution role. Uh, since we made that IAM role earlier, we're gonna click use an existing role. And let's go ahead and find that role. So here we go, SES email -y. That was the role we just made that has Amazon SES full access. So we are all good with our Lambda, hit create function. All right, now that our Lambda is created, scroll down to the code section. I already have some pre-written code I'm gonna show you now. Make sure you spell your email address right. You see, I forgot that dot. Okay. Everything's good. Indentation, the email address is right now. Let us test this. And uh, very good. We got some response here, but the real test, let's open up the email. It may go to your spam email, so check your spam. And here we go, we have our email. You can say it's not spam. Cool. And you can change the subject and body, of course. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hope this was helpful. And I'll see you in the next video.